Hi everyone, this is Melissa Roberto. I created this pumpkin bracelet for my kids and got such great feedback on it, I figured I'd share. Also, if you're one of my patients, you can make this bracelet and earn an extra reward point for the month of October. Just post a photo of it on Rockaway Orthodontics Facebook page or email a photo to info, I-N-F-O, at rockawayortho.com. Okay, here we go. You're going to need two looms. You're going to want to assemble them with five pins with the second and the fourth staggered up. I'll be using single bands for everything except the black. Using two black bands makes the face stand out better. We're going to start with an orange in the center and work our way to the left to frame the bracelet. We're going to, once we get to the straightaway, we're going to use three oranges. then two double blacks for the side of the um, mouth. So remember to put two bands here. And then a second double black. Four more oranges. And now we're after this fourth one, we're going to use green to finish the frame. This is the top of the pumpkin and the stem. You're going to work this over to the left, to the right, <laughs> and come to the point. Okay, now we go back to the bottom and we're going to finish the frame to the right. I'm going to pause the video here and we're going to come back when that's done. Okay, so now we've finished our frame, we've met at the center, and we're going to go back and we're going to start on our second row. For this row, we're going to use three oranges first. One double black. So there's two bands here. Four more oranges single again with these. Now we've reached the area where the eye is going to be. We're going to use two double blacks and then in order to get the yellow that's in the center of the eye, we're going to overlay one yellow band you're going to place it over, twist it, and place it over the other peg so it crisscrosses in the center here. One more orange, and then the last green. Now you're going to move to the fourth row, so skip the center, move to the fourth row, and copy exactly what you did on the second row. Don't forget when you get to the eye to overlay that yellow and twist it. We're going to pause here and we'll come back when that's done. Okay, we've now finished the fourth row copying what was done in the second row. And now we're going to move to the center. So we start at the bottom. We're going to use four orange bands here. Again, two double blacks to finish the mouth. I'm sorry, one double black. Two black bands here to finish the mouth. Four oranges again. Mess that up a little bit. We need a nose. Let's go back and do one orange. double black for your nose. So I'm just going to repeat what I did again. I started from the bottom. We did four oranges. We have a double black. This is the end of your mouth. We have another one orange, another double black. That's your nose. Now we're going to do some oranges again. Now we go to four.
and the last one will be green. Okay, so we have the basic work here. Now we're going to add our cross bands. These will hold these together. The first one and the last one I twist because as the bracelet tapers, if you don't twist them, they'll stick out the side. It'll look a little funny. So I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to go from here. I'm going to twist it to that center peg. Then I'm going to go from the center, twist it, go to the end. I'm going to move to the last one because that's the only other one we're going to twist. We go from there, twist it, go to the center peg. And then again from the center, twist it, go to the end. Everywhere else we're going to be using orange without twisting. So you're going to go across to here and again over to here. You're going to continue that from every one on this left over to the center, then over to the last one all the way down. We're going to pause the video again here. We'll come back when all our cross bands are fit. Okay, so we've now added cross bands everywhere. The last one was green, it was twisted. The first one, still orange, but that's also twisted. Now we're ready for the hook. So we're going to flip the loom, so now the arrow arrows are pointing towards you. We're going to do the stem part first. We have to actually hook, hook with these over to the left and then over to the right before we move up the rows. So I'm going to start here. We need to take one green rubber band, twist it around this first peg. Then you move that band out of the way and you grab this band. You're going to be going forward here and hook to the center. Now I'm going to move to the left. So I'm going to grab this band and I move that over there. I'm going to do this one next coming forward. Move that up and then I'm going to go over to the left. Okay, I'm going to go back to the center now and we're going to do that same thing over to the right. Move that band over. I'm going to move this one up now. And then we're going to move this one over. Okay. From here, we can move straight up the rows. I'm going to start on the left. And you just grab the furthest one down and just hook them forward. keep going with these all the way up to the end but don't cross over. Just remember you have the two double blacks, you can bring those over together. And this is where we're going to stop on this row. You don't want to cross it over yet. We're going to do that at the end. Come back down to row two. I'm going to walk you up through the eye. So we're going to take this. Now we're at the eye. Take the yellow first. Leave the black behind. Cross that over. And then reach for the black. Now you're going to proceed normally all the way up to the end. Remember stopping here. I'm going to pause the video. After you do this, you're going to move to the center and again, stop it at the top. Don't do any of the crossovers. Do this, the fourth row. Don't forget the eye. You're going to hook the yellow first and then the last row. Then I'm going to pick up the video again and we're going to finish the bracelet at the end here. Okay, so now we've, we've used the hook to flip these bands forward everywhere. And now the last thing we need to do is just cross over to finish. So I'm going to go on the left here first. Move one over to the right. 
and move this one again over to the center. Now I'm going to move to the right and flip this over to the left. And this is our last one. To the center. All right, the last thing we have to do now is grab this all together. So I'm going to take one, one band, reach my hook through the center, attach it here, pull it over, and bring this onto here. Now we can remove it from the loom. So there's our pumpkin. Now we have to close this off. We're going to need a C-clip and we're going to need to add some extensions. So over here, I usually add about six or seven. I'm going to start with orange. You can add the extensions any way you want. I'm just going to use this method just because it's a little quicker. Add a couple green now because when this loops around you're going to want a bit of a stem. Okay, now we're ready for our C-clip. Just place it right over here. Take it off the hook. And now just loop it to this, this center piece here. Hook it together. And now you have a jack-o'-lantern bracelet. Remember, if you're one of my patients, you can make this and earn an extra reward point for the month of October. Don't forget to just take a photo of yourself wearing it and post it on our Facebook page, uh, Rockaway Orthodontics Facebook page, or email a photo to info, that's info at rockawayortho.com. I hope you guys enjoy making this. Bye.